On February 2nd, 1887, Groundhog Day, featuring the rodent meteorologist, is celebrated for the first time at Gobbler's Knob in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Today is February 2nd, 2024, and I would like to bring you this day in history. According to tradition, if a groundhog comes out of its hole on this day and sees its shadow, it gets scared and runs back into the burrow, predicting six more weeks of winter weather. No shadow means an early spring. Groundhog Day has its roots in an ancient Christian tradition of Candlemas, when clergy would bless and distribute candles needed for winter. The candles represented how long and cold the winter would be. Germans expanded on this concept by selecting an animal, the hedgehog, as a means of predicting weather. Once they came to America, German settlers in Pennsylvania continued the tradition, although they switched from hedgehog to groundhogs, which were plentiful in the Keystone State. Groundhogs, also called woodchucks, and those scientific names of Manmota and Monox typically typically weigh 12 to 15 pounds and live 6 to 8 years. They eat vegetables and fruits and whistle when they're frightened or looking for a mate. They're sometimes called whistle pigs and can climb a tree and swim. They go into hibernation in late fall. During this time, their body temperatures drop significantly. They, their heart beats slow from 80 to 5 beats per minute, and they can lose 30% of their body fat. In February, male groundhogs emerge from their burrows to look for a mate, not to predict the weather. Before going underground again, they come out of hibernation for good in March. In 1887, a newspaper editor belonging to the group of groundhog hunters from Punxsutawney called the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club declared that Phil, the Punxsutawney Groundhog, was America's only true weather forecasting groundhog. The line of groundhogs that have since been known as Phil might be America's most famous groundhogs but other towns across North America now have their own weather-predicting rodents. From Birmingham Bill to Staten Island Chuck to Shubana Katie Sam in Canada. In 1993, the movie Groundhog Day starring Bill Murray popularized the usage of Groundhog Day to mean something that is repeated over and over. Today, tens of thousands of people converge on Gobbler's Knob in Punxsutawney each February 2nd to witness Phil's prediction. The Punxsutawney Groundhog Club hosts a three-day celebration featuring entertainment and activities. Now I'd like to bring you yet another This Day in History. The first U.S. Air Force plane is lost in South Vietnam the C-123 aircraft crashed while spraying defoliant on a Viet Cong ambush site. The aircraft, the aircraft was part of Operation Ranch and a technological denial technique designed to expose the roads and trails used by the Viet Cong. U.S. personnel dumped an estimated 9 million gallons of defoliant herbicide over 10 to 20 percent of Vietnam and parts of Laos from 1962 to 1971. Agent Orange, so named from the color of its metal containers, was the most frequently used. The operation succeeded in killing vegetation, but not only 
but not in stopping. The operation succeeded in killing vegetation, but not in stopping the Viet Cong. The use of these agents were controversial both during and after the war because of questions about long-term ecological impact and the effects on humans who handled or were sprayed by the chemicals. Beginning in the late 1970s, Vietnam veterans became to cite the herbicide, especially Agent Orange, as the cause of health problems ranging from skin rash to cancer and birth defects in their children. Similar problems included an abnormal high incidence of miscarriage of miscarriages and congenital malformations have been reported among Vietnamese people who lived in the areas where the defoliant agents were used. Now I'd like to bring you another This Day in History. On February 2nd, 1980, details of ABSCAM, an FBI operation to under to uncover political corruption in the government are released to the public. 31 public officials were targeted for investigation. Investigation including Representative John Murray of New York, five other representatives, and Harrison Williams, a senator from New Jersey. In the operation, FBI agents posed as representatives of Abdul Enterprise LTD, a fictional business owned by an Arab sheik. Under FBI video surveillance, the agents met with officials and offered them money or other considerations in exchange for special favors such as the approved approval of government contracts for companies in which the sheep had invested. Senator Williams and Representative Murphy, Michael J. Myers, Richard Kelly, and John W. Generet Jr. were ultimately convicted of bribery and corruption. All but Richard Kelly, who his who had his conviction overturned in 1982 on the basis that the FBI would had unlawfully entrapped him, left Congress. John Murphy, whose term ended in 1981, was saved the fate of expulsion suffered by Williams and Myers. John Jenner resigned in 1980. I want to thank you for watching today, and as always, stay safe and stay blessed, and remember to smile, because I love you, but more importantly, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, loves you, and that's the best love you can have. If you like the content of this video, please give it a and comment down below. Those two things really help my channel, but what really helps me out is if you subscribe. It's free. What are you waiting for? Come on over and be a part of our little serendipity subby family. All right, everybody, have a blessed day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.